Hey everybody, Ewok Hugs here, and as promised, I am going to go over the math of setting up this uh, UI. Um, so, the very first thing that we need to notice is this x value is 29 for 0, and uh, that puts 0 right here, and we want all of these to be able to line up with 0. So all of these are going to have to equal 29 somehow. Um, so let's just focus on this row for now. Um, so this would be the y value. Uh, uh, the 29 would be the x value. Um, actually, let's focus on the y value real quick. Um, as you can see, they're all evenly spaced apart, uh, going up and down, and horizontal too, but right now we're focusing on up and down. Um, this is because uh, the size of the button is 50, right? So 50, 50, 50, well the height of the button is 50. So if we take this for example, we're going to get 57.5. Um, I mean, sorry, we get 52.5 which leaves a 5 pixel difference, uh, meaning there's a 5 pixel gap in between here and the next one. Um, so yeah. Uh, as for the x values though, um, sorry, we are all gonna need them to go over a certain amount. Uh, for all of these ones, they're gonna need to go over 29. And from there, uh, they're going to have to go over 58 plus 10, so 68, um, because this is a 10 pixel gap. Uh, we could make it 5, but, uh, you know, we'll just keep it for 10 for now. So, um, what we're doing is for number 1, so we're saying 1 times 0.5, which is 0.5, times 58, divided by 1, which is 58, is 29 plus 68 times 1 minus 1 0 so it's adding 0 to 29 so that sets up 29 for 1 right off the bat um but now we want to go over to 2 so we just plug a 2 in 2 times 0.5 is 1 uh times 58 divided by 1 i mean 58 divided by 2 is uh, 29, so 1 times 29, plus 68 times 1. So it, it's basically 29 plus 68, so it goes over 29, and then over 68. Um, and so on and so forth for the rest of the row. So for 2 to 3, does the same kind of thing. Um, now for 4, um, what we want to do is make sure that this equals zero for the first one, and then one, and then one, and then two. It was zero, one, and two. Um, so six minus four would be two, five minus four would be one, so it would just be 68 times one, and then basically just, just run through this method, and no matter what, this is going to equal 29. Um, so in all honesty, what we can do is say 29 plus 68. This, because this will always equal 29. Uh, which I just figured out, actually. Um, so 29 plus 68 times. So if we go ahead and run that, we should get the same exact result. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Um, that simplifies our arithmetic a lot cleaner. So basically, it's 29, and then it's going over 68 by however many it needs to go over. Why, why is reminder to four squared? Okay. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it gets a little more complicated once we get into the operation buttons. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, that concludes it for today. 
Uh, this is just kind of an informational one. No real co code was changed except this 29 here. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time.